Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking a really simple video and we're going to be talking about a light and light sources and stuff like that for your in your block settings. So let's get started. All right, well, if you've made it this far, then you should know that uh, if we take like our animated block, for example, and I uh, control C, control V, and then we're just going to call this one uh, light. And then we're just going to call this one light. And here we have a block abstract settings that create, and there are two things we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about emissive lighting, and then we're also going to be talking about just regular luminance and how they both work. Now, emissive lighting has a thing inside of it, and I'm going to see if I can get it to yell at me for a second. And then it asks for con. There it is. So content ta context predicate predicate. So then if I type in like predicate should uh, uh, should post process. I'm actually not too sure if that's what I want it to do. I basically want to make an always statement, but we don't have that. And the reason I know this is that you want to make an always statement uh, is because I'm basically saying always be emissive, uh, always show emissive light. Um, so having the thing with IntelliJ is sometimes it will, uh, well, we can at least test this. Let's test this. Sometimes IntelliJ will tell you certain things and you can go with them. But sometimes they crash your game, or they're just, it's because the game is trying to think what you're trying to do. Um, we, we, we can try this, because this would be a simpler form if you just type has emissive lighting. And if it doesn't work, uh, or while it's actually loading up, why don't I bring it up? If I double shift, uh, it'll allow me to look at all, basically all files. Oh, I have to try it again because the Minecraft opened. <laughs> all right, so if you double shift, it'll bring up all your sources, and then if I type in blocks, uh, because I want to look at all the Minecraft block files. It's going to give me a bunch of things, but it's not going to give me the Minecraft block files. You have to hit include non-project items, check that, and then there is this blocks.mc.minecraft.net, and that's just what we want. So we're going to click on that blocks, and then let's look for something that we know has this block. So uh, emissive lighting, and you can see how it says blocks equals always true. And if I click on this, it'll take me to the always statement. So I'm going to control C and copy that. Let's go back up to where it said that emissive for me. Oh, that's another one. Uh, that's world state position. I mean, I guess you could do that, but let's that's for if you have a block state. Um, this one is mainly what we're looking for, where it says blocks. So what this blocks is talking about is not saying like, is it a block? This is saying it's calling, uh, it's the coming from the class, right? So if I say, uh, the, the problem with this, however, is let's put this at the bottom of ours for a second. Uh, remember that I copied it from Minecraft and Minecraft made this method private. So if I tried and even, uh, if I went in here and I said, uh, blocks, and then I said, always, oh, see how it's got it from mine, but Minecraft doesn't have theirs. It, it's because Minecraft made it private. So what we did is I just copied and pasted it. But as soon as I type in that always uh, from hit.me.block, uh, it's now going to have mod blocks instead of regular blocks because it's talking about the class it is taking it from. And then it's talking about the method. Now, honestly, I'm not too sure what colon colon is I'm just taking it as sometimes it's like a type of equals but um, it's not it's not equaling I'm not too sure what it is but that's generally how I see it is it's basically saying e well I guess it's not equaling because it's not saying mod blocks is doing always I don't, I'm not really too sure but you'll you'll see it a couple times and basically all that that little dots is saying is class and then what method are you taking from that class so just kind of pay attention with that one uh, and then let's see if our emissive lighting the way we had it before is working. Uh, if it is, that's great, but I'm still going to change it again with the other one. Loading terrain. Oh, yep, see, no, it crashed. So uh, don't uh, do not do the other one. So let's uh, load it again because now we've loaded it correctly with the emissive lighting, mod blocks, always. And then we have the always simply just meaning true. <laughs> just set it to true and it's fine. So we're going to load it again. All right, welcome back to our little, uh, I'm not too sure if this is an island or something. I just got water on two sides, so it could be an island, could be a continent, 
I, I, I couldn't tell you. But welcome back to the beautiful world that we have. And if I give myself slash give at S, and then I'm going to do the light because I forgot to give myself the... Um, I forgot to put it in the mod blocks, but we can easily and always fix that. So what is emissive lighting? I hit it on the ground and, well, it doesn't seem like it did anything. Well, let's try and do slash time set, and then let's do what, night. Uh, and if we actually want a bigger one, or a better one, we can actually use midnight. Ooh, now it's even slightly darker. Emissive lighting is basically, it's giving off light without giving off light. So look very closely at the block here. Think of it as if it's like, it's giving light level one. It's, it's emissive where it's, it's, it's giving it off. It's resonating. It's radiating. That's technically like another word for emissive is that it's radiating it, but it's not really, it's supposed to give it like a nice little glow. But, um, and like we said in the magma cube, the magma cube actually has this, uh, emissive lighting where we put it on the ground and you can see how it has that same where it's glowing. But you can see how, on the outside at least, how it has that emissiveness. I do know that if you do give it a light level, I think it actually starts to glow like this. So maybe that's what it is, as well as the light level. So, but that's that's what emissive does. So let's give it a light level. That way this thing can be nice and bright and shiny, like our little magma cube. Welcome back to the code. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our mod item group. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to control D. Uh, we should also put in our soap here from the last video. Control D. And then we're also going to put in uh, oops, light. So now our light block will be able to be accessed in creative inventory. All right. So moving on with our emissive lighting. And now that it's working, we're going to work on the, the other one. Now this one looks a little bit more complex, but it's not. So we're going to do dot uh, luminance. And then it's going to say, hey, you have to put a two int function for the block state and then illuminance, but literally just type in letter V and this thing called value is going to come up, hit your tab. And if it doesn't come up, you can actually type in the V-A-L-U-E space and then just do a little dash and then the forwarding bracket. Um, what is that? Less than? Greater than. I think it's greater than symbol. But then you just have to type in a number. number. So technically there are 16 light levels and zero is included. So Java starts counting at zero, and if a light level is zero, then that means it has no light. That's why it goes up to 15 and not 16, because you'll notice that it's a pixel game. A lot of things are done from, you know, 16, 2, 4, 8, 16, just how Minecraft works, 32, 64, you'll see it all over the place. So sometimes people will be like, why is it 15? Like, why is it the maximum? Why isn't it 16? It's because we're in Java, and technically it starts at zero, and zero is absolutely no light level. It's light level zero. So that's why 15 is the maximum. And I can write 30. I can write, you know, 50 or 500. And honestly, it won't necessarily do anything because light level lumens actually caps at 15. So you can write it higher, but it's not actually going to do anything. So with that in mind, let's uh, take a look at the world uh, with the luminance on there. Oh, and here we are, just like I said about the magma block, it, uh, it, it's light. Uh, very odd that it's not, I think it's because it's placed. Um, it looks just like the magma block now. Uh, but if I, if I update it, I believe, okay, maybe I have to update it like that. Yeah, I have to update it like that. So now it is nice and glowing. If I, uh, so if you give it a light level, even a low light level, uh, it should make the the texture glow up. I'm curious what the light level of the magma cube is. We'll look at it in a moment. But uh, this texture uh, took me way too long because obviously it's an animated texture. It's got interpolation and you'll notice that even the texture has changes in it. Um, but honestly, I knew that I had it uh, right when uh, actually there's an easier. Well, we can go into another world. <laughs> oh, I'm curious. What is the light level of magma? If you guessed that the light level was three, you're a genius. <laughs> I knew it was a low light level. I didn't know it was three. I think I may have remembered that it was three, but I probably would have guessed lower than that if I didn't think three. All right. This texture that I have took me way too long uh, to make, um, but I am absolutely admiring it to its fullest potential. Uh, let's use the preset like that. 
done. Uh, and uh, But that is basically going to wrap up this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to write down in the comments below. But with that in mind, that is going to wrap up this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, let's make it nighttime. Slash time. Time set midnight. Oh, that is, oh, it is beautiful. I could look at this all day. Whoa. That's crazy. Dude. This is, this is a disco and a half. <laughs> this is what parties at midnight should be like. All right. Well, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado,